when Seth left Emory, I don't think there was really a concern um, from a label standpoint, mainly because the band reassured us so much that they were they were okay with everything, and um, and we you know we knew we were going to miss him as a person because he was an amazing guy like everybody else in the band. Um, we were just really happy that they that they separated on very good terms, um, and of course when they got Dave in the band, then we had absolutely no concerns because he's just a phenomenal drummer, one of the best drummers I've ever seen. We brought him all the way out to Seattle and we were practicing, we were like, hey, we don't know if this kid's going to be any good or not. And I mean, first day, nailed it. I mean, the songs were great. I mean, he immediately just played the songs just how we wanted. They said he was just out there, he was really shy, like, it's funny because he sits, when he first started, he sits so low in his drum set, it was like he was almost hiding all the time, you know what I mean? And uh, he was just down there and I laughed so hard just looking at him. But I, I didn't really know him that well, you know, first started knowing him, I was like, man, this guy's kind of weird. You know, just because he was so shy and just, but when he came out of his shell, he's one of the funniest guys I've ever known. Yeah, dude. I promised Laura if she married me, this was part of the deal, because yeah. she's such a babe. That I would get her famous. So look at the camera, baby. <laughs> First of all, Dave is a person. Person is um, really, really cool. Really fun to be around. Um, great sense of humor. Um, just a great heart. Uh, loving personality, and just a person you want to be around. So immediately the friendship was there. six-month lease was coming up. We looked around, all around Seattle, and we're going to start renting out.